how to implement business rules so let's see what business rules are first so business rules are actually an attempt to replace the javascript javascript are used to customize your uh, your forms right so very very you know to know how to write javascript you need to be a programmer in order to make validation on your forms so normally most of these changes or validation that you make will be very similar one so but i mean non programmers cannot do it so business rules are a way where system administrators or power users who have enough privilege can create business rules on the form for validation for data i mean validation or, or changing the field components so this is an attempt to replace the uh, javascript as i mentioned but it cannot completely replace it there are four ways you can access or create view and edit your business rule one is from the solution you can go to the particular solution and entity because forms are entity wise right each entity got a set of forms and this business rules are related to each form so you can go to the solution entity from that from there you can access the uh, business rules or you can go to solution entity for a particular field also you can find it second way is from the form editor on the form editor we can go to set of business rule or form editor field you can access it so the scope of business rules so for entity all forms and so on for all forms from all forms you can access it we will see this one specific form so the business rule can be applicable to the entire forms of the entity or only for a specific form that we can mention so we will go to our settings we are in lead entity now so we can see business rules so here we don't have any business rule to see so we will create one so basically we need to give a name here and we need to mention the condition before we are going to create one we will see what all things we can do using business rules so using business rule we can make a field business record when the value in another field is changed or we can set the value of a field based on uh, some criteria or we can calculate the value in a particular field based on the value in some other fields you can show an error message <coughs> when or something invalid happen or you can show hide a particular field or enable disable that field depending upon the value entered in some other field. so these are the operation you can do that's what i'm saying the operation that the, that you can do using business rules are limited so this is how you will do it for example set exchange rate exchange rate field business record so we'll put a condition like the status of that field equal to active then we'll put an act action set the exchange rate as business record you can also can mention else if earlier when the uh, business rule got introduced in 2013 we didn't have any option like that but in 2015 they have an option we can mention else if we can mention else if clause where also we will mention a condition the currency doesn't equal to something then we can put the action so these are all the operation you can do using business rule show an error message set a field value set the field as business required set the visibility set a default value to a field we can lock unlock a field that all we can do so we will do it now we will mention a name what we need to do we'll find some criteria which we can apply okay we have a lead rating so we will mention something if the lead rating is uh, warm or or hot then we will make the business phone as mandatory that is the condition we are going to put so set business phone business phone as mandatory or business record the name of the rule here we have the scope this business rule need to apply at the entity level or all the form level information information other type of form or only to the lead so i'm just going to select all the forms you can get a information about it also scope so we'll put a condition under if then 
the condition by clicking add here so it will show you all the fields in the lead so i am going to select rating yeah now i am going to select We go to go to customization entity. So business rules are entity related. So mention writing. So the writing is equal to yeah you can put all the operators value or field. Value means it will select the field. Field means this field. The value of this field is equal to value of some other field. Yeah, that's what is equal to that. We select value. We select hot. Click this checkbox. Condition put it. The rating is equal to hot. I can add multiple condition. Then what is the action you need to do? Domain name. Yeah. Make the set business record. I will select business one. Okay. Make it as business record. I can do multiple action also, or else I can put another condition. Else if if writing is not equal to doesn't equal to hot. That means in other two fields. Some case we may have multiple values over here. I will option set. On other side, what you need to do is you need to make the then I can put multi. What I want to do is I need to lock that field. Business one lock, unlock. Yeah, I'll do one more task. Show an error message. Error message is like you to show message first of all. It can be error message or no success message. Anything. Stop. Because. Because. Rating is after that. What you need to do? You need to save it. And you need to activate it. Only activated business rules will work. So now we have it here. Now, whenever we refresh the page, depends upon the rating. It will check each time when the form is loaded. It will check the rating. So here you can see an error message: "Business phone lock because rating is not hot." And it is also lock also, right? Now, if I change into the disqualified, it's also it will be the same. Business phone is lock. Now, if I change into hot, save it. It's become mandatory. Yeah. So one thing we actually we supposed to have been doing is there are two types of business rule. One is now we have done it on the form, right? 
now we can do it on the field also so in that case when I'm changing on this one right that particular moment it will change here now also it is changing that way why because we have mentioned here when you showing the error message right that point in time we have mentioned cool so that's how we'll create business rules now so we have seen how we can access it so one way is from the settings entity business rules other one is we can talk to the form editor because business rules are related to your form not directly to the entity yeah here you can see business rules now you can see only one this is the one we have just set create new business rule you can create one that is how you will create it from the yeah obviously at the back end what is running is javascript only so having a lot of uh, business rule is also not a good idea Perfect. Now what i'm trying to, trying to show you now is when you create a field and um, select a field you'll have an option called business rules so here also create a you can create a business rule specific to that field this, so this way also we can access the business rules from the field also so it's not necessarily that it will be specific to that particular field it's nothing like that but here also you can access it here you can see the scope is belong to the lead okay so that's how we create business rules 